Rain and thunderstorms moved through the area during the evening hours. Lafayette saw just over half an inch of rain reported at the Purdue Airport. And those rain showers and even thunderstorms are expected through the overnight as well. Here is a look at what we've seen really the last four hours or so. And you can see the heavy storms really clearing out, but more pop up showers scattered in nature are behind it. So don't be surprised to continue to see that as we head through the overnight. It did drop those temperatures down though. Right now we are seeing temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. We're going to go down a little bit from there, but our dew point's so high right now as well. It is muggy outside. So if you're stepping outside this evening still yet, you're going to notice an, a very muggy experience. And then tomorrow morning, I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of patchy fog as that temperature drops down to 62 degrees, the low here in Lafayette, and really mid to lower 60s area wide. The dew point has gone up significantly from what we had this morning. And so those temperatures just aren't going to be dropping quite as low. I've already mentioned we're expecting to see more rain showers. And if we take a look at future casts, we're starting this at 1 a.m. You can see here a little bit of a clearing period, but it's not going to last for very long. More rain is expected to move in. This is at 430 in the morning. You can see those rain showers already starting to build back into our area. That's going to continue and really kind of be our first wave of rain as we go through the 730 hour. More rain showers then once again. The heaviest of the rain or the most widespread rain looks like it's going to be coming around the noon hour. As you can see, a big batch of rain coming through and you'll notice some of it does appear to be pretty strong in nature. And in fact, we are expecting to see a slight risk of, of uh, severe weather as we go into the day tomorrow. Once this heavy big patch of rainfall moves through, it's going to clear out. The clouds are going to allow a little bit of that sunshine to come through more rain showers possible, but I think temperatures are going to warm up pretty significantly tomorrow as we're expecting those highs to be in the mid to upper 80s. Again, I mentioned this earlier, but we do have the uh, marginal risk for severe weather in our area. That's mainly going to come in the form of uh, damaging wind or possibly even some hail. After we get through the day on Sunday, things calm down, but boy, do they heat up. Temperatures are going to be going to the 90s for the day on Monday, and then record-breaking temperatures are forecasted for the day on Tuesday and on Wednesday. When you mix in the humidity that we're going to be getting, heat indices are going to be reaching around 100 to 110 degrees before another slight cool front comes through Thursday, making sure to cool things down as we go to the end of the week.